Hey y'all, it's me, and this is Yoga by Zach. Welcome. So, we have been on a little bit of a break, and it was a lovely break. So much has gone on. My neighbor has been robbed. I was the one that caught them and called the police, and uh, long story is, uh, I said hello to the robbers. Uh, and then I called the police and did the dishes, as one does. So, you know, basically, I'm a local hero. She wasn't even home, she's in hospice care. But if she was home, I would have just saved her life. So, you know, there's that. So, um, and then so much other stuff has gone on. That was just the major part of it. And you guys know how much I hate this apartment life that I'm living in this particular neighborhood. Um, but I will make the best of a horrible situation I have until May for that um, to change because I can't afford to buy out of the lease. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you all enjoy my new yogic space here. Um, there's just a little bit more room here and a little bit more friendly atmosphere, I think. I was able to move my salt lamp over for you guys to enjoy, so let's enjoy that and open our sacred space. Let's inhale our arms up. Exhale. Become present to your moment. Here, now. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, center your heart, inhale up, exhale back down. Beautiful. Today we're going to work on our um, upper body, some arms, some shoulder stuff, neck stuff, because during the break, uh, my work has definitely picked up for the fall and winter months, uh, which means I'm doing a lot of this all day. And so, I need to work on my neck and shoulders and things like that. My heart-shaped branding um, only looks like a heart-shaped branding when I point it out to people. I'm kind of disappointed about that. But uh, you guys may not know about that because that whole yoga session that we did, there was no audio for the whole thing. So yeah, I branded myself by accident, but it came out in the shape of a heart because you know I love my body and apparently I wanted a heart-shaped branding. So, let's come to a tall seat. Find your spine, lock that chin. Drop your shoulders down to earth. Sit your sink, your sink bones, your sits bones deep into the earth. Let's inhale this right hand up. Exhale up to that left ear. Gently and passively stretch that neck over. Drop that left shoulder into the earth. And also, I think the lady downstairs is um, illegally subletting her apartment now, which is probably part of the reason why it was being broken into. Good. Let's release that right hand and use it to push our necks back up. Check in with yourself in the center. Let's take that left hand, inhale it up, exhale it to that right ear, and gently and passively just give yourself a nice little weighted stretch through the neck. Drop that right shoulder down into the earth. Big inhale through the length of the spine. Exhale, feeling that breath spiral through the spine, out the top of the head. So I caught these guys robbing my neighbor, trying to break into the neighbor's home. Uh, they're down there with a the cordless hand drill drilling through the doorknob, through the lock and everything. Uh, they were going to be there for a while though, because there's the door handle lock and then there's like a deadbolt lock and, you know, there's a thousand locks on these doors. So, I guess they were there for the long haul. But 
But when the police came, uh, of course I was doing the dishes, and my dishwasher sounds like a dying whale. So, uh, let's take that right hand, push your head up to the center, take a moment to check in with yourself. But I could hear the, it was a female officer, because the two guys were guys. I could hear the female going, uh, well, they don't have a key and nowhere to stay tonight, so I'm going to give them a place to stay. That's free. That's on me. So I think she was taking them to a free stay in jail on her. So, <laughs> uh, But that's all I could hear. It was so muffled. And, of course, my dying well dishwasher. Uh, but And, of course, I wasn't going to go out there. I didn't want to get in trouble or, you know, be seen. So I'll put it on the internet for everyone to, you know, hey, robbers, this is who you're looking for. Great. I'm cutting that out. No, I'm not. I'm not even. It's fine. I live in the ghetto anyway. Alright, well let's take that left ear. Gently and passively take it down on that left shoulder. Slowly circling the chin into the chest. Circling that right ear to right shoulder. Circle back down. Let's bring that chin to chest. And left ear to left shoulder. But one more time through, chin to chest. Right ear to right shoulder. Chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder. And we'll take our left hand and push right back up to center. Let's point our nose to the wall in front of us. We'll start, we'll inhale on the left, exhale on the right. We'll draw a circle with our nose. Just a circle on the wall. Big circle, little circle, you decide. We're going to inhale left. Exhale to the right. Inhale left. Exhale right. If you can't inhale and exhale um, with that, if you can't line your breathing up with the movement, try to do three inhales for a rotation and then three exhales for a rotation. Any kind of odd number usually works out the best. Um, and that's through the Chinese yogic system. Odd numbers always end up being the even amount. Yeah, let's meet in the center and then we'll reverse the direction. We're still going to exhale on the right, inhale on the left. And let's meet in the center. Take a breath, check in with your body. Beautiful. All right, let's
let's move down into our uh, waist because I want to do a lot of upper body and a lot of arm and shoulder things. So your upper body, you know, what we would think of here, but I'm going to include our waist in that. It's fine. It's yoga by Zach. We do whatever we want. That's pretty much the truth. Isn't it? Hey, I've got a block within reach, so I'm going to use that block. Put it right behind me. Let's inhale our arms up. Let's start by going to the right, so let's exhale, taking that right hand behind us, left hand will come to the front here, or to this right knee, whichever is more comfortable for you. Back hand, I'm going to put mine on top of this block because I had a block available. And if you don't have a block available, tripod hands up just like that. And that keeps your shoulders in alignment so that you've got the perfect twist for your body. I'm not trying to push anything here. I'm just going where my body lets me go. Listen to your body, respond to it with love. Don't try to force anything. Just passively and gently give your body this nice little twist. Inhale all the way down to those sits bones. Exhale, let your heart rise with the exhale. And with an exhale, maybe you'll take your head and take it all the way to the back to this right shoulder. Giving yourself that nice little extra neck twist. Slowly and gently, let's inhale our bodies back to the front. I just stuck my hand up because I wanted to feel the heat from the candle. Exhale to the front. I enjoyed it. Take a moment here. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, let's gently and passively come to the left twist here. So my left hand is going to come behind me on top of that block or tripod hands if you don't have a block available. This hand can go to the uh, left knee or just right out in front of you. Whatever is comfortable for you. Again, listen to your beautiful body and respond to it with the love. Exhale into your twist. And again, just as far as your body allows you to go. I hope everyone remembered their yoga headbands because I had my glasses on my head earlier and because you know I see with them better on top of my head than I do my eyes and uh, I thought I had my headband on and last minute I was like oh wait this isn't my headband these are my glasses and then maybe we'll exhale and turn our necks this way just that left shoulder slowly and gently let's inhale fill that candle <laughs> inhale your way to the center beautiful 
Move that block back out of the way. Let's take our hands and place them in the crease of your hips just so that we can bring kind of that awareness to our waist. Your true waist, not your, you know, where you wear your pants down at your hips, but your true waist so it's, it's up here. So we'll place our hands at the crease of those hips so that we can feel ourselves circling around to make sure that's coming from our torso, from our waist, and, uh, you know, moving down to the hips because it's all connected. Do you like that? That's how everything's connected, like that. Uh, you got it. You know what I mean. And again, we're going to inhale on the left. Exhale on the right. Big circle, little circles, you decide. Uh, just make sure you're still even on your sit bones and you're not like rocking up on one side and the other. Stay even on those sit bones. I messed up my breathing here. Inhale and left. Exhale on the right. That's how important the breath is, is that it, it keeps my body in, in alignment and secrecy. Uh, because when I noticed that, hey, my breath isn't correct, I felt my body kind of going all kinds of crazy there. Let's meet in the center. Take an inhale. Exhale to the right. We're going to switch directions. Inhale left. Exhale on the right. Inhale left. Exhale on the right. Again, if that breathing doesn't work for you, you can do you know, a full breath, full, full rotation, but try and do, you know, three for that one breath, and then three for the exhale, or any amount of odd number, whatever that works out for you. And let's meet in the center. Beautiful. Let's inhale our arms up. Jazz hands. Exhale, forward fold. I read a yoga article about um, modifying different postures, and we'll go through some of those today too, because it was a um, modifications that I know, but I don't always tell you guys all of those, so I want to go through some of those today. But the article was saying you don't have to do a full on jazz hands for every yoga posture, and I thought, why not? Why can't I do fun jazz hands with every yoga posture? Which was their point, is that you don't have to, but you can, and, <laughs> and uh, have a good time with it. Exhale, let's let our hearts melt deep into the earth. slowly. Let's crawl our bodies back up. Beautiful. Beautiful bodies. And since we're already in Sukhasana, our cross leg pose, we can just roll right on to our tables up just like that. Boom. Alright. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see my beautiful body from this angle. And here's where the first uh, modification they were talking about is that we always say, you know, spread your fingers like big starfish and sometimes that's not available for everybody. Um, and over time that can cause, you know, all that huge stretching of things can cause some um, tendon things, um, issues. 
So they're saying sometimes bigger fingers together, sometimes far apart, sometimes just an even length. Uh, and all of those modifications are perfectly fine. Again, listen to your body, respond to it with love, uh, go to what your body loves you to do. I am most comfortable spreading my fingers out like those big starfish, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best option for you, you and your body. Uh, the main point is that you're pressing through the palm of your hand. You can press through the palm of your hands with your fingers together. Perfectly fine. Uh, and I'm glad that I was reminded of that because I don't always tell you guys all the modifications because, just because. So let's, big starfish hands or small hands, whatever, as long as you're pressing through the palm of your hands. Find your even posture here. Crown of the head's gonna point to the wall in front of you. The cat cow, let's inhale our tummies to the cow. Your tummy's gonna come all the way down to the earth. Big inhale. Exhale to your cat. Hollowing out your tummy, pulling the navel into the spine. Inhale to the cow. Exhale to the cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, the cat. And let's do a couple just at your own pace. Let's meet in the center. Uh, Ganesha Mudra, the elephant on a chain. We're going to kind of liberate our bodies. We're going to move and groove and circle. Maybe do a couple barrel rolls. You know, just loosen that spine. Any, any way, direction, up, down, side to side. Any way you need to move. Tail feathers. All right, let's meet in the center. I'm going to turn back to the center for this one. Remember, passing through the palm of the hands. Let's take this right hand. Uh, let me show you modification first in case you're not able to do it like this. You can always do those postures stand just like this. There's your Ganesha Mudra, just moving that spine around. Uh, your cat cow, although sitting up, it's a camel uh, posture. For this one, uh, for a needle, you can take that right hand and it's just going to be just like this, filling that stretch through the shoulder. Uh, just maintain the breadth of it. And that's your um, kind of sitting modification for that. I'm going to do mine on the mat, just like this. We're going to take this right hand, we're going to inhale it underneath, exhale, take it straight out to the side. Inhale, thread it under, exhale, take it just a little higher here, inhale it underneath. Exhale, a little bit taller. Inhale underneath. Exhale, a little higher. Inhale underneath. Exhale, let's take it all the way to the sky. Let's inhale underneath. And let's go ahead and start to leave this arm down there. We're going to come right down. Make sure you're putting the pressure on the shoulder, not your head. And just finding that nice stretch through the shoulder, through the arm. Stretch your nose.
and using that left hand, inhale. We'll pull our bodies back up. Take a moment in the center. Take a breath. And kind of reposition yourself if you need to. Again with these, the crown of the head goes to the wall right in front of you. Let's move over to our left hand. And again, if you're sitting up, you can just inhale, breathe. Following that into the final posture here. Let's inhale that left hand underneath. Exhale straight out to the side. Inhale underneath. Exhale a little bit taller. Inhale underneath. Exhale out to the side a little, little taller. Inhale underneath. Exhale a little taller. Inhale underneath. Palm faces up. Exhale, let's go all the way to the sky. And come straight out of the shoulder, not too far back. If you need to keep yours up here, that's perfectly fine. Just don't go too far back because you don't want to over rotate. Dreesh to your gazing point's going to go straight up to the sky. Unless you uh, get dizzy, have high blood pressure, and or are pregnant, you can look forward or look straight down to the earth. Let's move into that shoulder, inhale, and as we exhale, let's start to come down onto that shoulder, make sure the pressure is on the shoulder, not your neck, and start to just relax into that. And again here, palm faces to the sky, you don't want to Overextend or put too much pressure on the brachial plexus. Those are the nerves in the shoulder that lend out of the carpal tunnel. Let's use that right hand, Ex uh, no, excuse me, we need to inhale our bodies up because we're expanding. And exhale to your center position. Beautiful. And from here, let's go ahead and sink down. I took my knees just a little bit wider because that's how my body needed to do it. Um, toes together, knees apart. We're going to sink down into those hips. Really sink down into Balasana, a child's pose. And you can do it this way, or you can do a traditional child's pose, which is your arms down to your sides, palms facing upward. It's done like that. Yeah. What this is, it's a breathing exercise through the back body. So really feeling your back expanding and inhaling and exhaling. Uh, top, bottom, left, right. Um, you guys all know how to do it because we've been doing yoga together for a couple of weeks now enjoying each other's beautiful company. Exhale.
Maybe if it's available for you, come up on the fingertips. Breathing through the spine, the length of the body, really feeling your back body expanding. going to slowly and gently kind of rock my body out and come down to a crocodile pose and that I'm going to take my feet to the width of my mat facing outward hoping I don't run into a candle. I think I'm good. And I'm going to cross my forearms here. Head goes down. Again this is the same breathing applies. You're expanding your entire body. I really feel like I'm going to run into this candle. I'm going to gently push it out with my piglets. There we go. Uh, breathing through the length of the body, really expanding your back body, top, bottom, left, right. Uh, think of each quadrant and then this big hole. Uh, really fall into that breath. Find your peace with it. And then maybe we'll switch the cross of your arms. Let's pull our toes together, toenails go to the earth, put those hands underneath you. Let's inhale up, come to just a baby cobra. Bhujangasana. I don't know what baby is in Sanskrit, so baby Bhujangasana, baby cobra, which actually translates into shoulders, so there's that. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Inhale, front. Exhale to the left. Inhale, front. Exhale, let's come down to earth. Beautiful. Let's take our hands in front of us just like this, and then I'm going to just come back onto my knees, stretch and back in kind of a puppy dog pose. So I'm going to pull my knees up just a little bit farther for my body, and it's almost like a balasana, but, but our bottom's a little bit higher in the air. So we've got our little puppy dog, our little puppy dog like this. Really stretching through the body, through the upper torso. 
little puppy dog pose, or you can call it a modified um, dolphin. Um, basically the same. Basically, people, basically, not totally. Because somebody's going to write me and tell me the difference. I know the difference. Mm -hmm. And with our still on the mat. Let's go ahead and curl your toes under and then come up. We'll come into a dolphin. Breathe into the length of the spine. Exhaling, filling that breath spiral through the body, through the spine, out the crown of the head. Pushing deep into the earth with your arms. Exhale those knees into the earth. And I'm going to take my toes down to the earth also. I'm going to slowly and gently start to inhale my body up. I'm just going to slowly come up to a knee here. Beautiful. Let's inhale our arms up. Take a small back bend if you if you'd like. Exhale. I'm going to take just kind of a forward fold here. Notice I'm doing kind of a modified sun salute from my knees because I really don't want to stand up. Just a gentle forward fold here. Let the crown of your head fall. Inhale up. Tiny back bend. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Beautiful. I'm going to move to this front. Let's move through some palm trees down here. And, uh, inhale those hands up. Small back bend. Come back up to the center. Interlace those palms. Exhale them to the sky. So we're propping up the sky. On your next exhale, exhale, it's palm tree, twisting to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, or right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. And we'll inhale back to the center. Exhale, release those arms. Good. As always, if you get confused with your left and right sides like I do, just remember what side you're on because we're going to do both sides. So it doesn't matter if you did your right, I was on the left. You just remember where your body is. Let's just come right down to our back bodies. I'm going to move sideways as we move through our... Um, Again with our torso, it's going to be our lower back and our upper back, just a little bit more. What happened to the lamp over here? What's going on? It's magical. It's a magical lamp. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I hope it's...
it's the lady downstairs on hospice care. Now, I mean, I'm sure they're doing a great job in helping her transition to, you know, her next state of being. But I really hope that, you know, she sticks around for a couple of days, like her ghost, like just to, you know, thank me for almost saving your life or, you know, just to hang around. And so, like, maybe this was her turning off the lamp. Maybe she's trying to communicate with me before she, you know, moves on to wherever she's going. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Let's come down to our back bodies. And adjust your awesome headbands. All right, let's find a comfortable position here. With our bodies, think of your back as being glued to the earth. And you're just going to kind of wiggle and shake your skeleton inside of that skin. Moving through the fascia of the back body, kind of melting it, wiggling it, and shaping it. Up and down and side to side, maybe doing some nice little circles or something. Trying to release your body from the super glue. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Come to your center. Let's go through a um, apanasana. Um, which, of course, we all know that when you're doing Apanasana, usually they start their practice with it and end their practice with it. Um, I like to end my practice with it just because that's how it feels good to me. So that's what I do. And with that, we're going to inhale our legs into our tummies. Exhale, taking those legs out. Inhale the tummy. Exhale out. Inhale to the tummy. Ignore the slamming doors, guys. It's apartment life. There's not a lot I can do about that. Actually, there's nothing I can do about that. So let's go ahead and just face it. Exhale. Inhale to the tummy. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale to the tummy. Big inhale. And exhale. Let's release. Let's take our feet to the width of the mat. Maybe do some nice little windshield wipers here. Just releasing that the lower spine, lower back. Lower back body, lower torso. Coming back up to the center, let's go ahead and move into our Shavasana. So whatever position you're comfortable with, maybe it's just right here. Again, if you take your palms to the earth, you get kind of more of a um, grounding feeling. So think of that as a metaphor for the grounding. Or taking the palms to the sky, you get kind of more of an uplifting type um, idea to that. It's fall, so I think I'm going to go for a grounding, nice earthy feeling for myself. And again, you have your knees up or down, whatever's, whatever's comfortable for you. Let's take a big inhale through our bodies all the way down to our toes. Exhale, let your body melt deep into the earth. Take a couple of concentrated, mindful breaths. And 
Find your breath, find your peace. If you'd like to stay with your Shavasana, by all means, stick with it. Listen to your body, respond with love, whatever you need there. And if your body allows you and you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring a little life into your body. Maybe wiggle your shoulders a little bit. And when it's available, let's roll over to our right side. Let's just rest here in a, in a fetal position for a few breaths. And when it's available, we'll take that left hand, we'll exhale this time. Pushing our bodies up. We'll fix our headbands and we'll meet in a tall seated posture. Finding that length of your spine. Uh, let's change across our legs from the way we started. So let's, let's do that today. Find that length of your spine, walk that chin in. Extending the crown of the head to the, excuse me, to the sky. Think of your heart, let your heart rise. Let's close our sacred space. Inhale our arms up. Being mindful and thanking yourself for being here for taking care of your mind, your body. Let's exhale, smile with our eyes. Smile with your mouth. And always smile with your heart. Thank you. People, 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 thank you for coming and sharing your yoga practice with me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the new setup here. I, I know that I do. I feel like I have more space and it's more open. And it's facing the east, as you should, for traditional practice. Uh, not that there's anything traditional about my life, but...